Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show how I ink Kirby Crackles using a B-Series calligraphy nib. Let's get crackling. My name is Jimmy Reyes and I'm a professional comic book inker. Welcome to my channel where I share tips, techniques, and an inside look at my inking process. Let me start by apologizing for my <laughs> voice as I have a cold. Uh, how the B-Series work is that the lower the number, the larger diameter the circle will be. And the B-Series is a calligraphy nib and it is a round tip. Um, so the higher the number, the smaller diameter the circle will be. Uh, so what I did was um, I selected the B1 and uh, it's near the larger side of the B-Series. Um, it's not the largest. Uh, of the B series, but it's on the larger end. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just simply dabbing uh, the tip of the nib down flat onto the surface to get a completely flat round uh, circle shape uh, with my uh, India ink. Uh, and then when I want to have a half circle or sort of a crescent moon, I will then tilt the tip of the nib um, on its side to angle it to give me that uh, sort of half circle effect or look and the amount of pressure that you place down on the nib is going to determine the width of the circle uh, so the harder you place down with more pressure then the larger the circle you're going to get and if you have a um, larger amount of ink when you press down harder then it's going to spread um, wider. So if you have a little less ink, uh, if you press down with less pressure, then you're going to get a smaller circle. So what I do is I generally start with the larger circles because that's when I have the most ink on the nib. Um, so I press down with a lot of pressure, getting a larger circle. Then as the ink starts to wear out of the nib, then I start placing less pressure placing smaller circles onto the, uh, the artwork. And that's how that works for me. And there really is no right way or wrong way to do uh, Kirby Crackles or, or anything like that. I mean, you can use the back of uh, your brush if you like, because it's round. You can use uh, technical pins if you want to. Um, I mean, really you can get creative and just use any anything that has a, a round uh, tip on it and dip it into your India ink. Um, and really it's just using what is going to work best for you and what you're most comfortable with and what's going to give you the type of look and line work that you're going for. So this is a creative process and it's just a matter of experimenting with your tools and uh, finding out what works best for you. And you can see on the left I did the same effect with white over black and uh, got the same effect there. Here is the final image. Thank you so much for viewing and don't forget to subscribe and you can follow me on Twitter.